Hi, my name is Joshua Nelson. Today we're going to show you how to suit up a Martian astronaut for EVA here at the Mars Desert Research Station. Today we'll be suiting up Donna, our Martian astronaut, for her first EVA experience here at MDRS. The first step in getting ready for EVA is to don your Martian flight suit and boots. The boots are obtained from this back shelf and the flight suits are obtained from the hangers here. The suits vary in size from small to quadruple extra large, ensuring that there is a flight suit for everyone's body size. If the suit is too wide on you, you can adjust it using the Velcro straps on either side. If the Velcro straps don't tighten the suit enough, we also have a variety of belts available in the lower shelves. Once you put on both your flight suit and your boots, the next step is to get on your backpack. The first step in getting the backpack is to unscrew the charging unit that charges the battery in the backpack. Today we'll be using flight suit number two. You should always do this step with at least one other person as it's very difficult to get in both the straps and the collar at the same time. I will hold the pack while Donna puts her arms through and then make sure to hold the collar while she gets her head underneath. The most common injury in getting ready for EVA is scratch noses. Make sure that the air hoses are above the straps so that they'll be able to attach on either side of the helmet. The collar should be resting comfortably on top of the straps. Buckle the top straps across the chest and lower straps across the waist. You can also use these straps to tighten up the flight suit to fit your body type. Is the suit fitting comfortably? It's good. Once you've put on your backpack, the next step is to get your radio and headset. This year at MDRS, we're using Motorola headset, headsets along with a Vox headset. These are more realistic and comparable to what the astronauts use than our old push-to-talk method. First, take your handset, plug the Vox headset into the right side of the unit, then turn on the radio. It's important that you plug in the headset before turning on the radio, otherwise it will give you an error tone after about two minutes of use. Take the radio and put it in one of the front suit pockets. Run the headset underneath the collar and then let the astronaut put it appropriately on their ear. Once your headset's on, go over here and grab one of these hoodies. These hoodies are similar to what astronauts use on EVAs and serve to keep your hair out of your face when you're working, as well as keeping the earpiece securely fastened to the side of your head. If you don't use something like either these hoodies or a bandana, your headset might fall off during long or, or difficult work. Take the hoodie, firmly secure it to the astronaut, It should leave very little room for the headset to move. Otherwise, when you're on an ATV ride or trying to climb a hill, the headset might fall off. Given that you can't get into the, he into the helmet when you're on EVA, that would create issues in communicating with your fellow astronauts. Once you have your hoodie on, next step is to get a helmet. Say we're going to use helmet two since we're also using pack number two. You should always use the same helmet as the pack you are wearing, since most of the couplings will only fit the pack that has the same number. 15 minutes before you begin your EVA, 
you should take some deep fogging spray and spray several squirts into the visor. You should do this 15 minutes before beginning the EVA procedure. We did that today before beginning this video. This defogging spray ensures that condensation from your breath won't fog up your headset, your um, helmet. Take your helmet, insert it into the collar, lock all three latches, including the back one. Then, secure the Ostrox oxygen hoses. Once both hoses are secure, come over onto the left side of the backpack and press the power switch on. You should hear the fans on the right side of the backpack turn on and begin circulating air into the helmet. Once you've pressed the on button, confirm with the astronaut. Are you getting air? Once the astronaut has their backpack on, air flowing into the helmet, we're ready to get the last step, which is EVA gloves. There's a large variety of EVA gloves stored here on the back shelf. Secure the straps so the gloves will not come off easily during a long day of work. Now our Martian astronaut is ready for EVA. One final note, on some people the backpacks and helmets might ride a little bit too far forward or too far back. In which case, you should use bungees, smaller than this, looped behind the helmet, and then secured to the pack in order to make the helmet comfortable for the astronaut. That's all for EVA preparation. Now Donna's ready to go.